everybody and welcome to my channel Becca Beach. Today I'm outside with all the kids. Our special guest, Max. And today we are going to be doing a PE class. Yes, yeah, so we're going to get it started. As some of you may know, I've started exercising again after having Max. And it has been hard at first, but I feel like I'm finally getting into the groove of it. And, and I've it's also been, good. it's been, it's getting good. And I've started eating and healthy and I just feel so good. And so I was about to exercise today, but I decided, hey, like I might as well invite the kids to exercise with me. So I've written down a little list of all of the exercises that I want to do with the kids that are kid friendly so that it's not just so impossible to work out as a mom but you can actually include them in what you're doing and so it's not as difficult. So I'm gonna get started with that and I hope you guys like it. First, we're gonna start with stretch. Reach down and touch your toes. Reach down and touch your toes. If you can go further than that, go underneath your toes. If you wanna make it a little bit I can easier, touch them. put your legs apart like me. And then Whoa. reach down and touch each one of your toes. Stretch as far as you can. You want to feel the stretch in the back of your leg right here. Can you feel it right here? Good, that's where you want to stretch it. Okay, another stretch that's good is to flip your leg up like this and hold your foot. Right here. On the front of your leg right here, right? So you guys already do this stuff automatically when you just play all day. After this, now I want you guys to get started. Now all of you come on this side of me and I'll show you what to do, okay? Watch my feet. And I'm gonna do this really fast because this is how it helps to exercise. Okay? One foot in front, then another step, then I'm gonna take the same foot that I put in front and I'm gonna put it in back. Yes! But do it slowly at first until you get the pattern down. Front, back. Front, back. That's right, Ellie. <laughs> Good job. Just started my timer for 15 minutes and we're just gonna keep exercising for 15 more minutes. Some people go like this on one leg and then they trade and go like this on the other leg and then they trade and step forward. Corbin like this. Stand back and then step forward. Back and then step forward. Keep doing it. One. 
One, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, nine, eight, ten, nine, eleven, ten. Trade. One, One two. Okay, follow me guys, we're gonna do one last thing. We're gonna walk up the hill. If you didn't notice, there's a big hill right here. It goes up to our back patio. I'm sweating really bad. But we're gonna walk up this hill slowly, kind of like lunges. And then we'll walk back down, and then we'll try it backwards walking up. Now be careful with him. He's so cute. Walk up as fast as you can going backwards. See if you can do it faster, faster. Good job. <laughs> Max likes it. Oh man, that's hurting muscles I didn't know I had. Woo. It's making my, this muscle, okay? It's making it burn. Down. Going up backwards. Whew. Ellie can do cartwheels any day. Ellie, did you know I can do a cartwheel too? Here. <laughs> that was fun. I'm gonna sit in the shade because it's so hot. It's really easy to want to exercise when this is our view, right? So pretty. Thanks for watching this video. Oh, hey, there's the timer. We're all done. I already gave it. I already gave in and kind of quit early, but that's okay. I think this was really fun and good for the kids because they don't have a PE class because they're homeschooled. So this was their PE. It feels good to exercise, especially after having the baby. I've been doing a lot of things for my health lately and I feel so strong, which is surprising because with all of the other kids, I was very tired all the time. But this, I'm really feeling good and it's mostly, I think, because of my nutrition, what I'm eating and what supplements I'm taking. And it makes a big difference, it really does. Every single day at 2 p.m., after I had Charlie, I would crash and I had to take a nap. It was the kind of tired that I was like, I was falling asleep whether I wanted to or not. Just like, ugh. I am. I think it's pretty incredible that I'm on baby number five and I don't need to take naps during the day and I have tons of energy and I'm able to get so much work done during the day and that's with five kids. That's a lot of nutrition drained out of my body from all of those kids really it sucks the life out of you kind of and it's pretty incredible that I was able to find some stuff that helps me to be able to do everything that I need to do so anyways thanks for watching this video make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and uh, hit the bell to get the notifications when I post a video I gotta go because I gotta film a lot more videos and a lot more things to do today and I have the energy to do it even when I exercise I love it all right we will see you guys next time bye